Hello everyone and welcome to Public Speaking 101. Today I'll be showing you some tips on how to be a good public speaker so that you do not need to be nervous anymore in front of a big crowd. Well, I've heard from many people, even my friends, that they have they have nervousness while doing public speaking. And this, my friend, is perfectly normal to, to be honest. Every human being has nervousness, including me. I'm nervous now to be honest. But you can, if you can actually overcome this nervousness by following the tips and techniques. Now, maybe you're, you're thinking, what exactly is public speaking? Well, public speaking is the act of speaking in front of a group. A group, maybe, maybe 100 people, 2 people, even 1 person is considered as public speaking. So now we'll be looking at the tips and techniques. There are actually 10 of them, which, you get, which are very simple to follow, and definitely you get it in the, within the step of a finger. First, we'll look at knowing your material. Now, basically knowing your material is the basis of preparation. You have to research on the topic that you're going to do. Next, the tip is to practice, practice, and practice. If you're not a very good public speaker or you're not very exposed to people, then the thing is to practice, practice, and practice. Now, practicing is, goes according to your individuality. Next, you have to know your audience. For example, I'm going to give a presentation in school, I will have to know the people who are going to be listening to me because then I can cater to their needs in my presentation. For example, if I was going to present to my class, I have to know different personalities in my class. Like, for example, if there was, for example, probably a very lively person, I have to include a video. If there's a person who likes drawing, I have to include images so that it will stimulate the person's mind so that the person can be aware of what I'm saying and be interested in it. Next, you have to know your room. Now, probably, let's take the same situation. If I'm presenting in a classroom, I will have to know, get, get, get used to the classroom, you know, get used especially to the acoustics in the classroom if you're going to be using, if you're going to be using technology in your presentation. For example, you may use power slide, PowerPoint slides and all, which I'll be going on to later to show the good features of a good PowerPoint slide. Next, just relax. Don't think about what people are going to say about you and all that because most of the time they do not think anything about you. All they want to do is just listen to your presentation and what you have to say because after all, people are interested in gaining knowledge. That's the thing. Not about your externals and all that. Next, visualize yourself giving the speech. Imagine yourself standing in front of the room, talking to people. Now, you need cue cards for a good presentation. You need to write your points down. Don't write that on full screen on a cue, on a cue cards because most of the time, it means that you're going to just be looking at your script like this. And that is very bad because public, present, public speaking needs you to look at the audience. You need to have eye contact, which again, before the next point, have very good eye contact, which means, which brings me back to my other point about knowing your audience. Now next, realize that people want you to succeed. They do not want to see you flop, fail and all that. They just want to see you succeed. That's all. And they're only hoping for the best of you. And what they take back is the knowledge that you're shared with them during the presentation. So do not be scared about what they think about you. Because after all, they are entitled to, your, to their opinions and it shouldn't be affecting you as long as you know that you've done a good job. Next, don't apologize if you've done something wrong. Because most of the time, people never, people never realize what you've done wrong. Although you yourself know it. For example, I was stammering just now, but I didn't apologize to you because, because you probably didn't realize it also, but obviously you probably did, and yeah, now I'm apologizing. And if you have to apologize, please do it confidently. Don't say, uh, I'm sorry for apologize. I'm sorry for stammering. No, don't do that. Just say, sorry for my stammering, I'll work on it soon. Next, concentrate on the message, not the medium, which brings me back which brings me to a point where many Singaporean students, what they do when doing presentations is, for example, say this is my PowerPoint slide. They will read off the PowerPoint slide, which is not good because you should, you, you're not, you're not speaking to the PowerPoint slide. You are supposed to be speaking to the people. So just put the main points on the PowerPoint slide, say the main points from there, and just elaborate them. Elaborate them in front of the audience with eye contact with the audience. Next, you gain experience, which, which ties in with the very important point of practicing, practicing, and again, practicing. Just practice. That is how you gain experience. Sign up for workshops on how to do presentations and public speaking and all. And really, these tips, will, these tips will be very, very good for you. The most important point of the day, of this video, of any public speaker, is to not be nervous. To be honest, again, I am really, really nervous now speaking to... I don't know how many people are going to watch this video, but yes, I am nervous. But I'm trying my best to control my nervousness. Try not to stammer too much. 
try to gain experience by speaking often. Ask your friends, your family members, or what, or whoever. Even before before you have a presentation, ask them to look at you. Take a video of you like this, and ask them, and ask them to to view you, and give give feedback on whether on whether on how you're doing, how you're speaking to them, and how you can improve. They will be able to help you and give you honest feedback. So just don't be nervous at all. Try not to be nervous and have fun doing. Once you get the hang of it, it's just so fun because by speaking, you create a relationship, you create a bond with the audience who may be your friends and maybe, maybe these friends might not know you so well and after looking at you, they see, they, they see your character unfold through public speaking and they, might, they will want to be with you for your great character. So, my friends, please, just the great tip about public speaking, the greatest tip ever is to just have fun because by having fun, you will definitely succeed. Have fun in anything that you do, in studying and all. Because if you don't like what you're doing, you're definitely not going to do it well. So pursue your dreams, do everything to your best and make sure you enjoy it. And with that, I would like to say thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you very soon. I'll be conducting a workshop about debating and public speaking skills in the library on the 1st of November 2011. So when further details are released, I hope to see all of you there and I hope that you can join me in learning and spreading the love of public speaking. Thank you and have a nice day.